This is the last video on elasticity. And in particular, we're covering now the subject of the impact that elasticity of demand on a product by its own price has on the total revenue generated by sales in the market for a good. So in this particular slide, we're looking at a market that has a highly elastic demand. An elastic demand for a good is one which exhibits a price elasticity of demand that in absolute value is greater than one. So usually when you calculate the price elasticity of demand, it should be a negative number due to the demand curve having a downward slope, where as price goes down, quantity demanded rises per the law of demand. So um, if this elasticity of demand is uh, has a value greater than one, what you should see graphically is a demand curve that's relatively flat, more horizontal than vertical in the graphic, as you see here by the letter D. If we see a shift of supply that causes a price drop in the demand for a product, such as the one exhibited here, we'll see a revenue loss from that price drop and the little X's all over the place inside the market graph of supply and demand, it shows you the lost revenue by the sellers having to drop the price from the higher price at S1 and D to the lower price at S2 and D. So I'm gonna stamp stars on the two intercepts of the supplies and demand curves on the two equilibriums. And I'm going to call the first equilibrium E1 and the second equilibrium E2. So as we go from the first market equilibrium at the higher price to the second equilibrium at the lower price, the loss of revenue is evident by the excess, but there's also a gain in revenue because as price goes down, we get to sell more units than before. And that impact due to the high elasticity that impact is on a percent basis greater than the earlier impact. So the so-called quantity effect is bigger than the so-called price effect. So this is called the quantity effect of the price change. And the earlier one is called the price effect. And due to the highly elastic demand, the price effect will end up being smaller than the quantity effect to revenue. So you will see more revenue, meaning that a higher percentage of income is then spent on elastic goods and a lower share of, impact of income is spent on inelastic goods. So I hope this helps with a lot of the different lab, uh, homework for and uh, the different uh, quiz for uh, problems. It'll also help a lot with understanding the dynamics of the efficiency arguments that we're gonna make in chapter five. And it'll also help you with your exam number two, which as I mentioned earlier, both exams one and two are soon to be posted. So keep checking those announcements, they'll be there and you'll have plenty of time to engage those exams. Well, best of luck, take care.